Hello, everybody, and welcome to We Take You Places, the podcast for international students at the University of Marburg. Today's episode is all about being an international student in Marburg, finding new friends, attending classes in what might be a foreign language, and adjusting to a new climate and culture. Any one of these aspects can be difficult, never mind all of them together. How can you manage it all and still feel at home here in Marburg? Today, Polina will provide you with all the tips and information you'll need. We'll do our best to make this both helpful and interesting, so stay tuned. Marburg and welcome to Germany. My name is Polina and today we're going to talk about your new life as a student in Marburg. When you come to Germany for the first time, many things seem very different here than in your home country. The language, food and drinks, weather, social norms and values, all of that may differ from your experience and be difficult for you in the beginning. So the first few weeks can definitely be a culture shock. In this episode, we want to address some things that are different in Germany and help you want to spend your time here. Whether it is an unusual food, a cold weather in winter, unfamiliar preferable leisure activities, different mentality and rules of etiquette, you will certainly have to get to know it all and find your own way to becoming used to German peculiarities. So, let us dive in and talk about different topics with our international students to help you reduce the culture shock and be more prepared for what Germany is like. The language is the very first thing that is different for you in Germany. How well do you have to speak German and how often will you even need it? Let's talk about this a bit. For this, I invited Emilia into our studio today. She will tell us about her experience. Hello, Emilia. Welcome to our podcast. Could you please introduce yourself? Hello, Polina. Yes, uh, I'm Emilia and um, I come from Ecuador. And I'm a student here in the University of Marburg. Uh, I study uh, art, music and media. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So your native language is Spanish. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. And how well could you speak German when you first came? Um, well, I came with not the best German. I had already classes in my country, but um, it was a shock when I came and then I could not really understand the people. I had to for sure practice more. I actually came for extra classes for the first year mm -hmm. and um, I still struggle a little, but I think I can manage now. <laughs> so how did you learn German? Already here or before? I think um, mostly here. I did already courses in Ecuador, like a German course, uh, till the B2. And then I came here to to keep doing till the C1, so I can do the DSH test. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was really helpful, because my B2 was probably not a real B2. It was just the feeling of B2 or the name of B2, but yeah, here I learned more. So you would advise other people to learn German here in Germany directly? Would, yeah, maybe come still with a base of German, like with some previous knowledge, but for sure, or at least it was useful for me here to hear the people and to, yeah, yeah. like practical. Yeah, yeah, it was the same for me, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you need German for your studies? Yes, my whole career is in German, so oh. yeah, it was important for me that I can for sure understand. Mm -hmm. German, good. And outside of university, do you how often do you use German? Uh, yeah, I mean every day I would say because uh, you would use German German when you go to the Ausländerbehörde or in any situation of register to the city, like in any official thing, I would prefer to use German mm -hmm. and um, also with some people in everyday life. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have, do you have a lot of German friends? Not really. <laughs> I mean, a couple, yes. I, I don't know how. <laughs> I think that's such like a, like a thing for people that come from outside Germany to make German friends. I think I have a couple German friends, but maybe I'm right now not differentiating between who's mm. German and who's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, are there any other languages that are useful here in Marburg? Ah, yeah. Uh, I would say English is really useful. Mm. Uh, I, apart from German, I would say the most, like, 
like used language is English and I really use English a lot, especially with the other internationals. Sometimes we don't really use German, we use English. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, in my studies I also read a lot in English. Oh, mm -hmm. The whole literature is in English, but I think it's different for different studies, I guess. Yeah, of course. Another interesting topic is food and weather in Germany, which could be very different from your home country. Let's talk to Anushka about it. Hello Anushka, welcome to our podcast. Could you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Anushka, I'm from India and I'm studying political science in my book since last year and I'm in the third semester now. Yeah. How long are you in Germany in general? Uh, I've also been in Germany since last October, so so to say one year now. Hmm. Ah, so you started your studies yeah, when you moved. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> How did you like the weather here if you moved in, in November? Um, so, uh, when I came here, it was not that cold, so around 18 degrees Celsius, mm. but later it started getting colder and colder, and I was expecting the winter to last till maybe January or February, because that's how we have it in India, but it lasted till April, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we also didn't have that much of spring last yeah, year. Yeah, that is true. Well, spring was uh, always accompanied by rain, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How was it for you? Was it really well, cold? It was new, definitely, <laughs> but I kind of got used to it. And then uh, later, when I went back home, I actually couldn't handle the heat anymore. So <laughs> I think I've gotten used to it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do to adjust to this cold weather? Um, so I definitely drank a lot of tea and coffee. <laughs> I also tried to uh, uh, take as many precautions as I could from the cold so that I don't fall sick or something. But yeah, I mean, I didn't do much to actually get used to the weather. It's something that just naturally happens, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But still, was new for you. I can I can imagine. Yeah. How was uh, the food? What was your first impression? Well, uh, the food was definitely more diverse than I was expecting it to be. So, and I also found some good Indian food uh, in Germany. But to my surprise, I also cook a lot at home, so it wasn't a big problem for me. Where do you buy food usually? Uh, so for my normal groceries like vegetables and fruits and like uh, rice or something like that, I always go to Reva or Aldi. But we also have a Pakistani or Indian supermarket in Mabuk, so I usually shop the stuff that I need for Indian dishes there. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's actually cool that you have like this. Yes, absolutely, because sometimes uh, things like paneer, which is cottage cheese, uh, we don't really get in. Raver, but you can always buy substitutes like tofu for it so yeah mm. <laughs> what was the weirdest thing that germans ate uh, well i've seen pickled cucumbers which was a surprise to me because we never had those in india also a lot of meat which is i think uh, always a shock to everyone who doesn't live in germany i've also seen people eat uh, like spread uh, Sauce, sausages on bread, which is, I think, <laughs> pretty uh, weird to me because I personally don't consume a lot of meat. But yeah, that was like a really surprising to see also the different sections for meat in supermarkets like Raver. So yeah, that mm. was really surprising. Yeah. yeah. So you already mentioned that you don't eat a lot of uh, meat. Do you follow any other dietary restrictions? Uh, well, that's about it. I do consume dairy, so I'm not a vegan person, but I am a vegetarian person, I would say. I mean, I recently have uh, switched to vegetarianism completely because I used to eat chicken, but now I found out that in Germany you can also be a vegetarian without having to compulsively eat meat. Hmm. So I think that's also good because I have the options, so I can always have uh, my dietary choices. Yeah, that's great! <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with us. But living in Germany is not only about language barriers and weird food. You can also feel lonely and isolated so far from your home and family. So how can you find new friends? Let's talk a bit more about this very important topic with Luca. Hi, welcome to our podcast. Could you please introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Luca. I uh, am 24 years old and I study in Marburg. Um, I study uh, comparative culture and religious studies. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? I'm from Georgia um, and I live in Marburg already for four years. 
Mm -hmm. How was it for you in the beginning when you first came? It was not uh, that difficult uh, because um, I came uh, together with my classmate uh, to Germany and uh, she lived uh, also in Marburg long, very long um, but she uh, moved to Frankfurt and but we still have contact. Mm -hmm. Was it hard for you to meet new people here? Uh, no, it was not hard uh, because um, when you study you uh, get to know to many people um, in um, working groups or uh, in um, learning groups and also um, I, s I started to work uh, and at work uh, I had also many friends. Yeah, yeah. So you were saying you have a lot of friends that you met in university at work, whatever. What do you usually do with them? Like, do you visit any events? Yes, I um, go with my friends or sometimes also alone uh, to some events like uh, concerts, classical music concerts um, in Kassel or in Frankfurt. Also uh, opera and um, theatre. Yeah. We also um, sing every Monday. We um, meet each other with my friends and we sing uh, Georgian so folk songs. Oh. Mm -hmm. Where do you meet each other? We meet each other in botanical garden uh, sometimes here um, near the castle. Yeah. Yeah. And you just sing. And we just sing. We eat together sometimes Georgian food, uh, and we sing mostly folk songs. Oh, how yeah. cool! <laughs> so, what kind of tips could you give to people who just come to Marburg? I recommend to uh, new people to uh, who come to Marburg, uh, to uh, foreigners especially, to come to our inter international office if they have questions um, about uh, their study, about um, their yeah. living in uh, Marburg. Uh, yeah, and I would recommend everyone uh, to attend um, orientation week. Um, mm. And um, yeah, it, 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 this recommendation is also not only for for Ignis, but also for um, locals. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I know that. I also I didn't visit orientation week, and oh, I had a bit problems. Be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Whew, that was a lot of input. The most important thing is, of course, the language. Without German, it may become quite difficult for you to find a job or integrate fully. Depending on where you come from, your experience of culture shock may be very different. For some, the food will be weird here, for others the weather, for some the mentality or social norms. Try to find your own way of adapting to a new location and traditions. You may be very positively surprised of how interesting life in Germany actually is. Thank you all for being here with us today. So you can see now what being an international student in Marburg is like. Studying in Germany may be challenging and different from what you were used to in your hometown, but I'm sure it's worth it. Of course, if you ever have any questions or need help, come by to the international office and we will help you. And I'll see you around. Bye. This has been another episode of We Take You Places, the podcast for international students at the University of Marburg. For more episodes, videos, and much more, check out our university website at www.uni-marwork.de. Thanks for listening and see you next time.